I know that some people don't like Walmart. And when I say to people sometimes how much I buy at Walmart, they give me a look. But you cannot beat the prices. And some of the quality of the products that I buy there is just amazing. This shirt I'm wearing is from the brand No Boundaries. This is like that same fabric that the LuLaRoe uh, leggings that everybody loves so much that are $50. This is made out of that material and I love this shirt. I bought it in so many colors. I dress it up to wear it to school. I wear a very nice blazer or a leather jacket over it. On the weekends, I use it with jeans to be more casual and I love this shirt. It's so comfortable. I just go, went back and bought every color and I'm gonna share with you some clothes at the end of the video that I love that are so inexpensive. But one makeup brand I hardly ever hear about on YouTube that I think has some amazing products is Hard Candy. It's awesome. Now, I'm a lip gloss lover. I just feel lip gloss makes your lips look very young and youthful and plumped up. I have bought Bare Minerals and Buxom lip gloss for a long time, and I love it, but it is expensive. And I have found that this one, the Hard Candy Plumping Serum, is just as good or better. Now, this shade here, which is called Swan Lake, reminds me so much of that NARS shade that was famous that Kim Kardashian wore and everybody wanted a few years ago. It's beautiful. I'm going to show you some swatches of all the gloss in a moment. But the other one that I love that's very similar to uh, White Russian is this one called Nude Beach. Now, it's not a dupe. It's not exactly alike. But if you look at the texture of these glosses, it is the same texture as the Buxom for just a fraction of the price. You could buy about three of these for the cost of one Buxom. So I am a fan. It has a be beautiful packaging. And it is a plumping serum, so it has a minty feel to it. A beautiful applicator. I think the quality, the packaging, the way it's made, the product itself is just as good as this Buxom, maybe even better. So I am a huge fan of these. Another thing I'm a fan of in the Hard Candy line is this Blooming Lip Oil. This is in Stra Zen Strawberry. I'm wearing it right now on my lips because I wanted you to see how it looks. It's not sticky at all. It is the feel of a lip oil. I've tried others. I tried the uh, one of the expensive ones from Lancome, the Juicy Shakers. I like this actually better. And again, at just a small a fraction of the cost. Now, another lip product I love, I've never seen anyone show, is this lip contouring wand. On one side, it has a beautiful, and I mean beautiful, uh, lip liner. I use this and fill in my whole lips. It's fantastic. And the other side, it's got a highlighter to put in the very center of your lips to make them look fuller, which has a real metallic look to it. These are great. I went back and bought another one because I like the quality of the lip liner so much. It was very creamy. Another great product is their Primer Mist. This is wonderful. It's oil-free, silicone-free, alcohol-free. It is great and really does make your makeup last. And my final hard candy, I've had this for quite a while. Uh, my skin, since I went off Retin-A and I'm using retinol, is just become a little more oily and not dry. I was so dry from that Retin-A, but the retinol doesn't seem to be drying me out at all. So I've really stopped putting as much moisture into my skin. But if you're wanting a primer and a little more moisture, this cooling, it's called the Coconut Water Primer Stick, but it's very much, uh, it feels cool on your skin. This is great for under the eye, around here in the cheeks. To me, it's very comparable to the Pure Stick that I received from Octoly, which was much more costly. So these products from Hard Candy are some of my absolute favorites. Another item I have only been able to find at Walmart is this L'Oreal Go 360 Clean. It's called Deep Cleaning Exfoliating Scrub, and it has a little scrubby right in it. I brought this one to show you that I haven't opened yet. 
I talked about this a while back. A very famous dermatologist had recommended this. It does a beautiful job. I keep it in the shower. I like to exfoliate there. I can really scrub with and bring it down into my neck and chest area. I even do my forearms. I love to use this on the tops of my hands and my forearms since that area is exposed a lot and people see my hands and my forearms often. But this is nice. It's so gentle. My mother had actually recommended it to me before I read the book from the dermatologist. And she loves it too. She's 75. She likes it because she feels it's very gentle also. So that's my skincare recommendation that you can only find over at Walmart. A few weeks ago, I talked about these shadows from Revlon. These are old school. These have been around so long. And unfortunately, here on YouTube, there's just so much makeup released all the time that things become a blip and you don't hear about them anymore. I actually found these like on the bottom shelf at Walmart. They are very hard to find at drugstores, but I love these. And what I do is they're all cream shadows. I put them on top of powder. They add shimmer. Uh, some of these are matte and they're very nice to use under the brow, but I have three of these in different shades. They make my eyeshadow last all day. I'll do my base with powder and then go with, in, with my finger, even sometimes a brush into the cream and go across the lid. They're very blendable. Uh, they don't crease at all on me, especially when I'm using them on top of powder. They're just beautiful. They look very luxe to me. I think that's why I like them. They just look very rich on the eyes and beautiful. They are so inexpensive. So if you're looking for a little more glamorous look for your shadows, these are so inexpensive and they do the job. I mentioned these pants before in one of my vlogs, but I wanted to talk about them again. These are, the brand again is No Boundaries. These are leggings and they are the same fabric like the LuLaRoe. I have a pair of LuLaRoe and I actually prefer these, which are so much cheaper. I think these were $5.88. The reason I like them better than the LuLaRoe mainly is the waistband. The waistband on the LuLaRoe, as I wear them during the day, I feel them creeping down a little bit off my waist. This uh, elastic band that's in these stays on your waist and does not move. These are wonderful. I wear them to bed a lot. These are what I wear around the house. I don't wear these out around town, but when I get home from school, I put these on, and sometimes I just wear them to bed. And for the holidays, they have so many cute patterns. I just thought these would be fun. Usually everybody has a pair of Christmas pajamas if they celebrate Christmas. And these were so cute. And again, the price was so inexpensive. And then also these were a little more, they're from No Boundaries. And these have a different, uh, these are more like a sweat pant, but it's that same fabric like the LuLaRoe. It's so soft. These wash great. I've washed them several times and they come out looking just like when you put them in the washer. I have so many pair of like these gray in black. I think I bought, oh, I don't know, maybe eight pair because I'm afraid if they stop making them, I won't be able to get them. I like them for working out here in my house when I'm doing any of my exercise routines. I put those on with a tank that I also bought at Walmart made of the same fabric and it's just great for fitness. Those are my Walmart favorites. I would love to hear yours. I know some of you shop there also and you have found some great things. So if you'll share that in the comments, I'm sure everyone would love to read the things that you found that you like. Have a fantastic week and thanks for watching.